So here if a, a bike that's not a balanced bike. And it's showing a, a flashing light. I'm making a noise here. So we'll be checking this out. The very first thing that you want to do is just to reset the gyroscope by balancing your bike, putting it up, and then holding the power button for about five seconds. And if this doesn't work, then there is some issue with the circuitry inside. So you want to remove the bottom casing so that we can get at the electronics inside the little scooter. So just taking off the case, you can see this circuitry is the self-balancing circuitry and they're about the same on both the left and right hand side. So I'm going to remove the motor controller and see if this is the issue. And just using my multimeter, I can verify if this is a problem. There are these power MOSFETs and I'm just making sure that there's no short just using the multimeter. A other fast way to do this without a multimeter is to swap your motors because the motors are interchangeable. So I'm taking off the wheel that's not working and I will be replacing it with the right wheel. And if it works, that means that the motor controller is working. After taking it off, just give it a spin, making sure that that wheel is working spinning freely because if it's not spinning freely it could have damaged something going on to the right wheel now the right wheel i already know is working and so the they're interchangeable so i can uh, put them on i put it on to the left and you can see it is rotating there so i know that this speed controller is working if the speed controller was not uh, working then you can get a replacement now i know that the issue is a broken wheel and these are brushless motors inside the wheel and so we'll be taking it apart to have it in a look in my model here i i'm taking off the plastic casing and then you can see the windings of the motor inside i'm pushing it down and they're very strong maintenance but it will pop off and you can see the bearings and the wiring as well the first thing that i did is just check the wiring making sure that the voltage would be able to go to the motor so I'm testing all the connections the wires are all okay so there'll be something with the coils and we'll be having a look now we can test the Hall effect sensors there are three of them and there's this connector the they're black you can connect to ground and if you have a power supply the red can connect to five volts and the three other wires are signals to the three Hall effect centers. So using my multimeter, I'm measuring the voltage of the sensors and you should see that if I put a strong magnet to it, it would go down to zero volts here. So I'm measuring the, the last one there and it doesn't even change at all. So I know that the issue is the last sensor there. You can also test with uh, your voltmeter right here. You can see I'm measuring, uh, and then I when I flip the sensor here, I'm measuring a good one, and it's an open circuit when I have the negative and positive, the negatives to the middle and the positive to the bottom, and the, uh, if you get in a different reading, we know that this is the issue. So this sensor is no good, so I have to remove it. Just using a soldering iron, you can heat up the pads, and then you can take that sensor off. Then what I did was I used the scope and there's actually very small lettering there. You can't see it very clearly, but it's a 3144 Hall Effect sensor. You can see the schematic here. You can also Google it. I found a couple on Amazon and I ordered them and I'm putting in the new sensor, making sure it's in the same way, putting in the, in the little groove putting it with the plier and then soldering that new sensor into the circuit. Just using some solder and making sure that contact is all good. And then after we have that, we need to get some super glue and glue it in there. So I'm putting some super glue 
and then I'll push that sensor in and let it dry. So there we go. After fixing that, I put it all together and you can see it's working here. Both wheels are spinning and you can go around in circles, go forward and backwards. It's like a brand new scooter uh, self-balancing hoverboard. So I hope your kids are back at playing with this machine and that this video was helpful. Uh, please uh, like the video and subscribe for more repair videos like this one. You can also check out my website at nuisanceelectronics.ca.